I have been told that it is back. And it is back. The Fomorian has returned. I wonder which relay it's attacking. You will, of course, get this message from the Lotus that allows you to build the disruptors. It does require more than that, but this hasn't been going for very long at all. This is the event you need to do to get this weapon to drop. The Imperator Vandal, the parts for this drop from doing this particular mission. Not only that, but if we don't stop the Fomorian threat, it will annihilate which relay is it? The Orcus relay. Oh, the Pluto relay. It will actually destroy them. This is basically what happened, if I go to Venus, to the Vespa relay. And as you can see, it has been blown to pieces. The same goes for the one on Earth. The Strata relay is in pieces. If we do not stop this thing, this... Oh, there it is on the map. That looks really cool. It's just a floating Fomorian. If we don't stop it, the Orcus relay will get destroyed, which means there will only be two left. Now, for this, you will need the Omega Isotopes. Those apparently drop on... It'll be dropping on Pluto because that's where the Fomorian is attacking. It's whatever planet it's attacking, those kind of drop randomly. Nanospores, Cryotics, it's a, it's a minute long build. Actually, I have four. But what you cannot forget to do for these missions is actually put it in your gear. Now, this is the least sad part about these. The worst thing about this whole event is the fact that you need to go to select mode, I clicked the wrong one, and arc wing because it is an arc wing based mission for this. But once you do have one built, it's only a minute, it's not really that long. All you have to do is, to be fair, you can just click on this. It hasn't been around for that long either. There are actually fairly simple missions to do. They are quite fun as well. These things. Shoot these. They will appear on two sides of... Oh, how far back are you? That's a long distance. Of the Fomorian on the outside. There should be two. One there and one around the corner. Nobody has destroyed it yet, so we really could use the fourth person here. But once both of them are destroyed, I'll actually back up a bit to give you kind of a better view of this thing. It is really nice. But once they're destroyed, you basically want to go down to where I'm looking now and get inside as quick as you can. Avoiding the eyeball, it will shoot giant lasers at you. And you see all of these nodes on along the outside. Those are what you want to be shooting at and destroying them all. You can no longer use abilities in here either because there used to be a great way to glitch this out. Remembering, of course, you do have to deal with enemies at the same time. But take out all the nodes. Just keep shooting. It is the best hint for this. Shoot until you can't shoot anymore. Then just keep shooting. But the nodes are the important parts to shoot for. They're all gone on this side. You'll notice I am actually still shooting. You need to hit as many points as you can from this whole event. I'm out. I need to reload a little. Ah, I got hit by something. And then once you've done enough damage, basically run. I'm running in the wrong direction, but I'm running far enough away. You can see on the top left, I just have to get a certain distance away. 350, I'm now far enough away. You don't have to go to that thing. I actually went in the opposite direction. As long as I stay 350 away, I'm fine. Still 350 away. And eventually, it'll end, and we'll get to watch a nice little cutscene of... Oh, oh they removed the cutscenes. 4.319 million damage to it. That's not bad, actually. I remember when getting a million was hard to do. That's where going in with a squad that knows what they're doing comes into play. They definitely knew what to do there to get that many points. Damn. No reward, though. But did, of course, get the Arokan Catalyst 
and the 200,000 credits that come from the actual only part of the event here. That's the only reward. You get it at a million points. Four million? Damn, that's nowhere near my own personal best. Nope, there it is. 22,838,704, the Eyes of Blight operations. What you do have to watch out for are those things. They will create a shield that will stop you from being able to go anywhere. That's probably how the person died earlier. That's also the laser that you need to watch out for. Now, apparently there is nothing else in this apart from basically just the Imperative Andal. I am doing this again just to kind of figure out if that is true or not. Damn you. Though, after trying it a few times, I managed to get a total of zero parts for this, so... They seem to be fairly hard to get a hold of. Again, we have to do this to save the Orcus Relay. If we don't, then... Well, I don't know what happens, to be honest. I know they get destroyed, but there is that event coming eventually that will allow us to rebuild some, so... The, it could possibly be rebuilt if we don't do this in time. Who knows? But with three days, 19 hours and something minutes it had on it before, there is more than enough time to do this. Plus, even if everybody runs it just once for the Orokan Catalyst, it was built and the 200,000 credits is also insanely useful. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching. Good luck getting those parts, and I'll catch you next time.